chapter four, we are discussing future trends with Gary Delaney of the Options Industry Council. Gary, can you tell us a bit about the type of feedback you're getting from European wealth managers about not just about how they see and use US listed equity options, but what kind of changes they would like from you in the future? What kind of trends might they be anticipating? I would, I would think that from the conversations we've had um, and the, the shape of, um, of regulation that we will be seeing uh, more products moving to, to a cleared basis. Um, although, you know, that obviously takes, takes um, you know, a while. It's not necessarily immediate. You know, regulators cannot uh, hit everything at the same time. Um, I think people are becoming um, uh, more used, if you like, to, to dealing uh, with a, a central counterparty. So I think that's, you know, that's a plus uh, for us. Um, if you look at the movements that we've had uh, in our products, we have found that the uh, weekly options have been very um, popular um, for short-term uh, positioning. Obviously, the um, volatility products, particularly from the SIBO, uh, have had uh, you know, dramatic um, interest uh, in them. Um, and also, you, know, you can trade an option on whichever underlying you, would, you wish to put together. So we have seen ETFs you know, developing uh, as, as that market has expanded, options on ETFs. So the, those seem to be a couple of trends that we've spotted. And what about the level of knowledge you see amongst the private bankers and the, and the wealth managers? How does it compare here, for instance, in, in Europe with, 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 the, with the US? Do you, um, I, I don't have any, any direct statistics for that, but let me share with you what, 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 what I think. I think that um, European investors um, are... They're, they're at home with the underlying, if you like. Let's say we're talking about the fictitious stock XYZ. I might be very used to what's happening with, with XYZ in Europe. But if I looked at my American cousin, he would be probably quite familiar with the XYZ stock, or he would call it XYZ, but X, the XYZ stock, uh, plus, the, plus the option. So I think in the US there is more of a, more of a history of self-directed investment and that is in comparison to here. But again, looking at study work that we've had done, in 2011, 92% uh, of uh, respondents uh, identified the fact that um, options education was, was a key to you know, getting people to, to use the market more. And that, of course, is why the Options Industry Council has been set up. Um, for those un unfamiliar with the Options Industry Council, we are sponsored by the 12 U.S. equity options exchanges and the OCC. The OCC is the world's largest um, equity derivatives clearing organization. And our mission is, is very simple. It is to educate investors of, of, all, of all types. Um, so we, we bring out the, the uh, pros, but also the cons. Uh, we take the view that an educated investor uh, is, is a better one. So I don't think anybody can ever say, oh no, our market is educated, that's it, they're fine, they're, they're relaxed with that. It's a continual process, you know, whether we're talking to uh, retail, institutions, wealth managers, hedge, hedge funds, it's, it's a continual effort. Gary Delaney, thank you very much. Thank you.